YouTube. Hey YouTube. It's your boy Fishing Ken, Hook City TV, and you know I got my main little baby girl with me. Fishing Ken in the house. Yes, sir, and yes, ma'am. Guys, so as y'all know, we just dropped the dove videos. We had a great time. Thanks again to the Buffalo Hunt Club and my boy Demetric, aka D, aka Rev, for letting your boy and, and my main man Hook City come out with him and miss a bunch and hit a few. So guys, what we have today are dove breasts. And what we're gonna make today, jalapeno dove poppers. Guys, this is new, I've been seeing it all over the internet, it sounds like a great thing. A lot of people are doing it, so your boy Fish and Ken has went and got those dove. They're all cleaned up, ready to go. We also have fresh jalapenos. We went and got the cream cheese, bam! Toothpicks, and you know we got some Smithfield bacon. All natural, baby. We're gonna be using a little bit of olive oil, and we're gonna put a little bit of Pam on the grates because we don't need any kind of stick. Last but not least, we're gonna put a little bit of that, I can't show them the kind, a little bit of that fajita seasoning on it, guys. I can't show y'all the brand, it's kind of secret to me, but we're gonna be using fajita seasoning on it just a little bit. And if you don't know, man, Fajita season is a great blend of spices that taste good on any type of meat you can cook. Whether it be beef, whether it be pork, whether it be dove, chicken, you name it. We're gonna get these things made up. We're gonna cut these jalapenos into small strips. We're gonna use a little slither of uh, cream cheese. We're gonna put that into the dove breast and wrap that baby up with bacon and shoot our toothpick through it. And we're gonna be using the charcoal grill today, so this should come out awesome, guys. First up, cut the peppers. Really hot, okay? Cut, straight down. You want to angle it up like this and cut down, okay? Wait, wait, wait. Ooh, don't hang up on myself like a big girl. Good job. Slice. Slice. Okay, and keep the knife down. Thank I you. I want to cut the cheese too. All right, so again, we're just going to make sure we get these babies cut in a couple of different cuts. And this is what I cut it. That's what you cut, and we gotta make sure we get those seeds out of there. Yeah, seeds. Cammy is gonna show us just exactly how we do that. And take the spoon. Mm -hmm. And then. Scoop, press it in there good. And scoop it out like you scoop an ice cream. If you want to, you can try with your fingers. See, look. Ew. You don't want to do it that way? No. Okay, it's not way. Daddy, gonna help me? Mommy, want to help? Ooh. Got the juice in my. You got it in your eye? No. Not. The juice almost got in my eye, though. Well, don't let it get in your eye, girl. You're pee pee. Daddy! You will. Mm -hmm. You need to use the bath potty. <laughs> Is the potty really fast? Yeah, you want to use the potty, you put that in your eyes. Pin daddy eye. <laughs> Did you get it out? Not yet, cooking daddy. Get it all out of there. Cause it's making you want to sneeze. No, cry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so now your eyes. Your eyes are wanting to cry. Yeah. <laughs> okay, well you better let me do the, the peppers part. No. This is what I did. So with all the ingredients out now, cream cheese, bacon, jalapeno, and of course, dove breast. The way I'm going to do it, because I've never done it before, we're going to take the dove breast, 
piece of jalapeno. Cut off a solid amount of cream cheese. Really don't know how much to put on there. Um, sticks to the knife, so we're just gonna kind of put it on there like that. Uh, and another piece of dub breast. I had a couple that fell apart on me, so I'm looking for another single piece. Dub breast. <clears throat> we're gonna roll him. We're gonna roll him, pick him up. We're gonna roll him around. Make sure that dove stay in there. Don't let him fly off. Get a couple toothpicks out of here. Dove breast. We're gonna go right in. And again, the toothpick is just to make sure everything kind of stays together. And there you have it. That is a pop, pop, popper. Ken style right there, baby. Popped up, not slopped up. So again, we got the double breast. I'm gonna try it a different way this time. So we got we got the double breast. We're gonna put our jalapeno down there. Get us a piece of piece of cheese. Closing back up like so. Get that piece of bacon. That piece of bacon lay him in there we're just gonna roll him like a 24. we don't stop All right we got him rolled we're gonna stick that toothpick through there make sure it don't hit your fingers guys you don't, you don't want to be toothpicking yourself there's popper number two <clears throat> it ain't the prettiest but think it's gonna be edible y'all again we're just gonna do a few without uh, the bacon just because I know that there's people out there that, that uh, don't eat don't eat the pig you know so what we're gonna do is just throw a little jalapeno on some of that breast that breast meat and uh, add a little bit of that cream cheese actually we're gonna use this one right here because it's still together I'm gonna throw my uh, toothpick through it. Let's see, maybe we'll throw it through two parts of it. So we're gonna use two toothpicks. Try to keep everything together. There that is. That way I can give y'all a review on how, how, maybe how quickly it dries out without the bacon because the recipe does call for bacon. I know not everybody eats bacon. Um, it's probably not the healthiest choice for me either, but hey man, I gotta live a little. And guys, we got a surprise guest coming to help with the taste test. So I hope y'all will enjoy that when they make it here, but we got some su surprise guests coming as well. So now I'm getting kind of messy with it. I was trying to keep everything kind of uniform right now i'm just trying to get her done all right now i'll tell y'all the other day i fried some and uh just something real quick before i actually froze it and my baby did not like the taste of dove y'all i was so sad and guys so the surprise for today is hook city and fishing gg we're gonna be the taste testers for today Taste testers for what? Taste testers for good stuff. No Since no this wow. one don't no want to do wow it. For me. No there wow it is. Fish and GG. Yes. You okay. can eat and some poppers. Guys, that's my mom. Y'all have never seen her before. The one that keeps this one in line right here. And the one that watches my child while we go fishing sometimes. So thank you. Poppers coming up. I've already done it, but I just want to let y'all know that we did add the fajita seasoning. It's going to give it a real good kick. This is great for any type of meat, man, I'm telling you. And I don't think anything is going to change just because we're cooking dough. So add a light little coat of seasoning, waiting for our uh, coals to get hot. And then you know what's next. We're going to drop.
what we have here. What we have here. Popper time. Bacon. Looking real juicy. Alright guys, so we have Fish and Cammy. And Fish and Papa. AKA Hook City. And what we did was we went ahead and pulled those off. And I must admit, man, they look really, really, tasty, really good. So y'all go at it. Cammy's got the one without the jalapeno and without bacon. Go ahead and bite into yours, booby. And Paul, Paul, you can go ahead and bite into yours. And we need first opinion. What, what, what do you? What do you what do you think, Booby? It's good. You like it? Mm hmm What do you give it, baby, from a one to ten? Is from one being the nastiest, ten being the best. What would you give it? One hundred sixty-one being the best. Oh my gosh. And that's what you give it? Mm-hmm. Alright. Look at the TV is the best. And the Oh boy. Papa, what you got to say about that old hook city? Uh from one to ten I give it a a seven. A solid seven? Solid seven. It's, so, what do, you, what do you think about the flavor of that thing, man? It's different. Different? Uh, it's something that you don't eat every day, but it tastes okay. It's good. It's good. So, guys, we got two thumbs ups saying it's good. 